Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games and the newest sprites. Yeah, I don't think you he's can a see little him blocked though. right now, but he's sitting but on the But he is couch. here between us, so hopefully yeah. he stays there. I hope so too. Uh, welcome to the show. Today it's 8-Bit uh, Games. Yay! Oh, I don't have the little bar plugged in and that's a little crooked. There we go. There we go. Running a little late, that's all. Yeah, <laughs> hence, hence the added minutes for those of you watching live. Yep. For those of you watching on YouTube, no delay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Makes it easy. Um, let's get those strobing. There we go. Mm. So today we're going to be playing three 8-bit games. Mm -hmm. Kind of puzzly Yay. action. Like puzzle, puzzle action puzzle games. Puzzle games. Uh, first one is uh, Kij Sambo Samobidge. Sorry, okay. there's going to be some Polish. Oh, okay. <laughs> fair, fair. Um, uh, the next one is uh, Kcorm. Um, uh, and that's one is from Japan, actually. And the third one is a Tensor Trasco Sigo. I think I got that mm. close. Probably not at all. Um, so, should be fun. Um, you like puzzle games, but I these are puzzle, puzzle actions, so they, they More, keep, keep you moving. Yeah, fair keep enough. Keep you moving along. Yeah. Is that uh, the definition of a puzzle action game? Uh, there's a puzzle, but, but it keeps you moving. It, like, you can't, you can't sit there and stare at the screen stare at for the 20 screen minutes. For 20. Okay, yeah. <laughs> uh, I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers scrolling gently down to the left. Uh, Esramir is also resubscribed just before the show, very so nice. thank you very much. Uh, 8 bit Swami on the fur, Arkham H, Ar I'm Scar Coder, Atari 1974, Atari Age, Atari's Maximus, BR Pocock, Buck Owens, Cat Zeros, Chance Donnie Mao, Chalsa Donnie Mao, there we go, Charles Wheel and Chai 5, Cubanismo, Cyrano <laughs> Reboot, Dan, if you see Dr. Moo, Cows, Fox Mulder, Great Offender, Johnny WC, Carl G, Ken Jennings, Invader, Kev Kelly, Croco 2600, Lauren TDZ, Mark Yannis, Mark Space Egg, Metal Atari, Mick Muse, Mike Soul, Mike Littell, Miss Command, MK Smith, Mr. Fun. Fix, Muddy Funster, Nathan Storm, Nostalgic, Pack Rat, VG Koog, RC70, Render Ghost, Repellents, VG Ricardo Pimp, Smitty, B, Spicer, S, Mirrors, The D, Train, The Wallace, Cartridge, The Wash, Mania, 9, Tiki, Dan, K, TM Events, Track, MD, S, Ken, X, Ken, X, and your name's not on the list. <laughs> and Drexel's name is not oh, on the no, list. Oh no, Drexel too! Big fail. If you want your name on the list, like my wife's isn't. <laughs> Uh, yeah. You just click subscribe. It is free with yes. Amazon Prime if you have it. What a list it is. Yes. <laughs> um, I have a poll question. It is very straightforward. Uh, not too hard to figure out, I think, for everyone. Cats or dogs? And I think we can safely answer that uh, with a one for cats. We like cats. Uh, this is like what you prefer, or if you like them evenly, number one's cats, number two's dogs, number three is both. Maybe you have both cats and dogs. They can get along, despite what cartoons tell you. Or neither, you're just too busy for the animals. Um, so we have two cats, and we had two cats. Before that, we had one cat. So we've had one, two, three, four cats in the past... 16 years, something like that. Yeah, yeah, yep. that sounds about right. Yep. So cats and, do cats and dogs living together. <laughs> Panic. Panic. Oh, this one's so cute. Um, we do have some, some mail here. It's not retro, but it is mail. Uh, and it is video games. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. This was so important. I had to vote. <laughs> had to, you had to vote. Yes. Oh my goodness, that is important. Okay. You're gonna skew the poll, but you do have your own login, so what? Oh my goodness. There we go. Yay. Oh, that's why. Okay, let's see what this is from Strictly Limited Games. Ooh. Retro games, retro style, style games, games on new systems. Yes. Um, Newish. <laughs> Newish. This one's not really retro. Yeah, it's a little bit retro. Is it? Uh, Pocky and Rocky Reshrined. Oh, okay. Um, Tito. Kind of a adventure game. Okay. Continuing this high Cute. pace sequel of the classic shooter. Shooter, that's what it is. Mm. Yeah. So it's a kind of shooter, but you're walking. 
Oh, you okay. don't see, and I, I saw the video common. of it and I'm like, that's really cool. Yeah. That you can walk around and it's kind of an adventure, but it's it's like a shoot 'em up at the same time. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's why I got it. Um, there's some warning in German on the back. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hopefully that is not too dangerous for me to play. Nice. <laughs> um, I got my co uh, copy of Cotton 100% from SLG last week. Awesome. Great shooter. Nice. Um, so we're halfway through the year, just over halfway. It's July 5th today. Yeah, we are. Yeah. Um, so I thought I would add up uh, the homebrew games in all the categories been... just to see what that would have been... Uh, been released, created? work yep. in progress, updated, that kind of thing. Cool. Um, for the five different systems. We have uh, eight Jaguar games so far. Mm -hmm. um, 16 Lynx games. 31 7800 games. Uh, wow. 64 8-bit games. Wow. With That's a, a lot of 8-bit games. A lot of 8-bit games. Ooh. With 10 of them being 5200. Okay. Uh, I think most of them are both. I don't think there's too many just 5200 mm -hmm. games. Maybe one. And 90 2600 games. Wow. So that's a the 2, lot. 2600. <laughs> that is a lot already. Wow. Because um, usually it's like just over 100, like 130 to 150 around. Per year kind of thing? Yeah. Wow. And I know there's a big jump at the end of the year. So that's wow. quite a few. That's very cool. Um, so some really good news out of the um, 7800 camp here. And it is from uh, Fred Quimby, Batari. All, he posted about his concerto cart, mm -hmm. a firmware update, pending firmware update. All issues with firmware build environment have now been sorted out, and I can finally much more easily add features or make improvements to the firmware. In the past, it was exceedingly difficult to add features, which is why you didn't see any improvements coming as quickly as expected. It's about a, been about a year and a half since the last firmware update and um, it's been a lot of requests for a bunch of stuff um, the firmware build with the newest compiler is much shorter and efficient which also may lead to stability improvement mm. because there are some games um, a lot of homebrew that wasn't running most of the classic games were running on it so here are the list of uh, here are the things I'm working on right now. Support for more 2600 games, mm. uh, 2K games, and ARM games. I will check on other schemes to see if they need help. Easier firmware updates. Selecting a BIOS file from the menu will be improved. Improved Pokey Hokey support. Hokey mm -hmm. hasn't quite come out yet. I think that was supposed to come out really, really, really soon. Uh, improved 7800 game support. 64K games. Support for newer 48K. 144K or 128 plus RAM games with Pokey at 450 or 0800. Uh, improved text file support, so you can look at text files mm. and read them. Uh, minor bug fixes. Fix question mark in place of nine, where number of pages ends in nine. I seem oh. to remember that. Interesting. Uh, prevent loading of large files from menu. Loading files larger than Concerto's memory can corrupt firmware. Mm. Oh, it goes like past certain amounts of memory and goes right into the firmware, I guess. Oh! Wow, that's that's crazy. That doesn't sound good. <laughs> so that's good. You just say, that's too big. I'm yeah. not going to load it. Yeah. Um, support for controller in left or right port. I'm guessing sure. that means menu. Um, so either one, if you have the second player, can uh, pick things from the menu, which is really great. Improvements to the utility screen. Currently, it's a placeholder. So who knows what's going to be in the utility screen? Mm -hmm. That'll be interesting. Uh, game loading speed improvements, which is great as well. I'm sure I've missed some things, so if anyone can chime in and mention specific things I did not mention in this post, please let me know and I'll add them Very to nice. the list. So if you don't see anything that you have found, definitely add it below. And uh, MK Smith has uh, offered to send over some games for 450 game examples and 128k plus ram examples as well uh many people don't like hot swapping their controllers which is understandable i am very yeah itc said that i'm very wary of it because power goes through that what what what's hot swapping um while the system is on oh okay yeah. unplugging and plugging something yeah, else in yeah 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 okay most people yeah, say yeah it's fine but <sighs> you never know it could do something yeah. Uh, my Pokey has been sitting off to the side for one and a half years. Oh, no. Concerto, good news, yes. 
Um, uh, as, uh, Ivory Tower says, uh, your concerto doesn't work with Pokey installed, right? Correct. Uh, I have one of the early versions. Mm. Uh, Carl G says me too as well. Me too. So, oh, yeah. that sucks. Oh, wow. Um, so hopefully this will uh, Resolve fix some that. issues. Yeah. Um, well, that that's how Con ColecoVision controller ports get blown with this. Uh, same with 50, 200, 405, two chips. Oh, I just read about the ColecoVision controller ports. Mm. Don't hot swap them. I didn't know about 5200. Oh. Um, so, oh, also, I finally, I got some batteries, ordered some Ooh. C batteries. For oh, you were playing that earlier. Super Cobra tabletop. Yeah. It's really good. Nice. Like, unbelievably good conversion mm. from the arcade to the tabletop. The, the tabletop game. And it's got pretty much all the levels in it. It's got the... Um, I guess asteroid horizontal level. It's got the cave level. Um, it's got the bonus level where you bomb the thing at the end. Um, yeah, it's got all the levels. It's really good. If you awesome. have a chance to buy one of these, they come in various shapes. There's flat ones as well. Uh, highly, highly recommended. Cool. Really good tabletop. I'm really glad I, I bought it. Um, it's exactly the same as the Antex, I believe. I saw a video on the Antex just today, just mm. doing some research, and I think the Antex graphics are a little different, but I think the code underlying is exactly the same. It looked, it looked the same. Mm. And the boot screen is the same. You don't select the level, level, which is really weird. It just scrolls through level one through four, and you press start when it's on the level you want to start. It's very, very strange oh. why they did it just that way. Like, like, just click. Yeah, it just goes them? one, two, three, oh, four, one, two, and you just have to go three or four. It's like, a, it's like, um, uh, what do I want to say? Uh, reaction test. It is. One, two, three. It's the first part of the game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you can't get through that, you can't get through the game. Mm -mm. No. <laughs> um, so we went down to Seattle last weekend. Yes, we did. Um, but we'll talk about that during the games. Yeah, we lost. I have stuff to complain about to you. And I lost my keys today. What? But I'll talk about that during the game as well. What? This is news to me. <laughs> Did well, you? you just got home, so. You and lost your keys. Yes, but I'll talk about that in a second. Um, <laughs> and I think that's all the news. So let's go to the games. Actually, let's check out. Oh, cats are in the lead. 66%. Dogs at 26, both at 6%, and everybody likes animals. <laughs> Neither. Nobody hates the animals, Aww. the fluffies. I know people who hate animals, those with severe yum, allergies. Yum, yum, yum. So. Oh, and they oh. love the animals so much that it's treat time. They love the kitties. Oh, that's so cute. So, who have you learned yet to ring the bell, little black cat? No. He might. He was kind of eyeing it the other time. So, we will put that there. Squeak. He's squeaking. No, nope, not you. Not you. Ring it. Ring it. Not you. Let, let, let the gray cat ring it. Put, here, put, let, the, put watch, the thing on it. Let, the, let him watch the yep. gray cat ring, ring it first. Ring it. Okay. Now, now the gray cat's giving up. <laughs> okay, Atari. Yeah. Can you see him? Uh. Ring the bell. Ring it. <laughs> the black cat's Come getting on. in the way. Ring it. You can do he's, it. I'm he's sorry. He's so excited. Oh, oh that was... Yay! 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 There's one for you. There's one for the black kitten. <laughs> and let's put one right. Thank you, Carl G, for giving the cats treats. Ring it. Ring it. Ring it. Oh, almost. Yeah, yeah. There you okay. go. Good kitty. Good kitty. Good kitty. Let's see if we can teach this Hey, cat. old style. Start the murder. Bring it. Bring it. Good oh, kitty. Oh, good kitty. We'll give it to him. Yep, he did it. <laughs> we'll he give it put to his him. paw out. Yeah. He touched it. Let's see if we can get him to do it this time. <laughs> Black cat is going to make the gray cat unlearn, unlearn ring bell. Yeah. Okay. Bring it. Bring it. Come on. Bring it. The gray cat's. If you don't ring it, I'll ring, ring it. it. Good kitty. No, do no. It, do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. He put his paw out. Do no, it. Needs... Give him the treat. He touched okay, it. There. Oh, you need to make yeah, it ring. You need to make it ring. Okay. 
So if he does it... Let Atari ring it and feed him, not Sprite. Yeah. Sprite should learn fast. Well, oh, that's a little mean, Vitoko. I don't know. Takes a little bit of time. to. to they have to get figure out the movement first. Ring it. Ring it. He's like, I found a little I piece. I found a piece. Come on. Sprite. Ring it. Come on. Ring it. Come on. He's like, Sprite. let Atari do it if he doesn't. No, let Atari do it. Okay. Let Atari do it. Okay, do it. Atari. You can do it. Bring it. Good, Good kitty. kitty. No, 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 no. Here, here. One <laughs> more. have to feed Sprite first. Okay, He's well, crazy. We'll let him do one more. This is this is basically how we taught Atari how to Atari do it. Atari figured it out in about 30 seconds. <laughs> I am not joking. We had Pixel and Atari, and we had the bell, and we went ding, ding, treat, and we gave a treat, ding, ding, treat, and Atari in like 30 seconds went ding, treat. <laughs> Just immediately caught it. Yeah, he's very food motivated. Yeah. Okay. Come on. Bring hit, it. Hit the bell. Can you hit the bell? I was thinking about it. Here. Hit it, hit it. Yep, oh, he was lifting his paw. Uh. Good kitty. He watched him. Yeah, he saw Sprite that. was watching. See if we can get one more. And, and Sprite watches <laughs> Atari a lot. Oh. Uh, Everything he does is like, I'm gonna do that. It's definitely older and younger brother like, syndrome going on. Atari does anything and um, Good okay, kitty. You get one. Sprite, you have to get your own now. Can oh, you do it, Sprite? No. Ring it. Can you do it? Sprite. Ring Hit it. it. Hit Ring. it. Come on. Ring it. Come on. <laughs> Good kitty. <laughs> okay, yeah, I get it. Come on. Ring it. Ring the bell. Come on, Sprite. Do it. Come on. Sprite. He's like, where's my treat? Sprite. Good <laughs> kitty. Come on, Sprite. Sprite. Bring it. No. He's like, where's my treat? No. I don't no. know. Give it one more. You hit it. You hit it. Okay. It's like one. two, please. There. Okay. All done it for now. It was a good test. It was a good test. Good. It was a good try. Good lesson. Yeah. I'm nostalgic. I don't think Sprite has 100% figured out that it's the bell ringing yet. No. So we'll have to not let... We need to get him separate and have the bell and not feed him treats until he, you know, always keep it associated to the bell ringing. Except we've been feeding him when Atari rings the bell, so that probably confuses him a little. Okay. So let's load up... Um, nope, not yet, actually. Um, I'm going to show you a little bit of things here. Not much. So this first hey. game hey, cats, don't do that. was originally made in 1992, and that's okay. the graphics from the 1992 version. Mm -hmm. Made by the same person, uh, the new one and the old one. Um, the English name is called Self Striking Stick. Self that's striking stick, stick and that's okay. what they've translated it to in English. Mm -hmm. um, you can download this from Sal Max's website as well. Um, he released an English language version of the game on June 29th, 2022. That's okay. what we'll be playing. Um, and he said on his website, Hello, I would like to share with you the first concept of the game Self Striking Stick for Atari 8 bit. After Borsuk assessed it on his channel, I decided that the final version must look different, which is the one we're going to be playing. Uh, thanks to Borsuk for his constructive criticism. I also thank the chat for the, the hints. I'm currently in the process of making corrections in relation to the version below. The game will not be linear. The gameplay itself will not be different. Well, almost. So you can just train yourself. I do not guarantee, though, you'll find the chambers from this version one to one in the final version. I can't define the date on the game's release, but it will be this year for sure. So he has uh, finished it and has released it. So we're going to be playing that. Awesome. Uh, I'm using the AVG cart for this. 
ITC. So if you could load up today's date. What is today's date? There we go. Oh, which one? Left. And that yes. One? Yes. And that Self striking one. stick. There we go. Oh. Oh. Let's Alex. go over. Yeah, you didn't miss anything. There you go. Mm. Very thin lines. It's uh, mm. it's kind of. I don't know what it's doing, but it's doing some strange things. Fair enough. <laughs> you can kind of read it. There's yeah, like you can a read thick it. line and then a really thin yeah. line. It, this I'm isn't. Not sure what's going on there. What, which one is that? Is it that needs to warm up for the? Oh, colors? the seventy-eight hundred. The seventy-eight hundred. Yeah, so that's no, not this the is issue. Not the eight. Yeah, okay. So if you can go to uh, what is this about? Um, Ooh. There will always be some midget with ego size of the sun, that man being Warlock Tramp Trample. Pole. Unfortunately for you and your hometown, Warlock traveled ne nearby, disliking peace and happiness. He kidnapped souls of your friends and family, and they put them in spheres of Black Void. Black void and hid them in ancient castle. To humiliate you, he transformed you into a drone from a distant land, stranded in uh, a castle and looking for solution. You found out that you're not alone. Ruler of the castle who was tricked by Trample. Trample and then changed into a stick for petty cruelty. But together, both of you have a chance to return to the rescue. Traps. Oh, rescue trap souls and return to your Bodies. Bodies. Just break all spheres and avoid warlock, warlock traps. traps. Love it. This probably would work on an actual TV. And I've seen things oh, like this. Oh, where it, it, if it was stretched properly? Like, well, is not it the... stretched, but the th there's thin lines that transform into different colors. Oh. Like it's trying to do a specific color. Gotcha. Okay. On, on the trailing line. Yeah. Okay, so press button. Uh, in the castle, you'll see different objects. Use them well. Uh, dragon glass wall. Uh, shadow turner turns the stick. Void of uh, oblivion. Don't fall. Sphere of black void. Smash. Smash those. Door opener. Asks stick. Asks stick. Uh, locked door. Stick answers. Okay. Uh, box. Pick it up. Guard hates sticks. <laughs> what? Uh, time bender, what in the? Another guard hates drones. Push button, push it. No idea what this is. <laughs> free all the souls in the room, or else you can't go to the next one. Don't procrastinate. You don't have much time. Remember the rules. Or the runes? They will help you, warlock. The runes. Uh, trem trample? Trample? Trample. Uh, travels in galaxy far, far away, so you have some time. G good, good luck. luck. <laughs> well, that was tough. <laughs> the L's look like... Uh, the U's it. look like L's and the O's look like... D's look like O's. Yeah. It seems that artifacts are needed in, in this uh, game. The Maybe. game, I don't think they are. <laughs> um, so if you can go to start. I wonder if the retro tank can do anything to fix this. So you are the thing at the top. What and am I supposed to be doing? And you have to... It goes around things. So you, you have to go there and let it go over you. No, not there, not there! In the what? in the gap. Because you're trying to get all the souls trapped. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Understand. Yeah, I'm using S, out, S video output. Um, so ITC says no. That does not help. That's going to fall down there. Oh! Those are pits. Souls are lost. Stick fell into void of oblivion. Gotcha. So you want to get it going over you. Oh my gosh, or, but how do I get it to not go into the void of oblivion? You get it going over you, around you. Oh, I getcha. But you got to move fast and don't fall into it. Ah, like that. She fell into it. Oh my gosh, you have to be very precise then. <laughs> yep. Uh, so this is a puzzle action game. <laughs> gotcha. There might be a way to, just in time, to do something. There you go. And that's the last one, so you don't need to do anything else. Whew. Whew. What is that? Flips the stick around? I don't 
what that does. Oh. Uh, when it hits that, it turns off the A over there. Oh, so you, you do want it to hit that A again, but only once. Oh. I think that's what it is. And then you got to block that so it goes over you. And then you got to get it there. Perfect. It should work. Excellent. I like the animation on the stick and your character is very smooth. Yes. yes. The complete rotation of it is very nice. Okay. That doesn't like drones. So, Will it kill me? Uh, I, I think move. that rotates the stick. I can't get past it. Oh, fell into oblivion. What's, what's the... What's I think you X? do have to what's be the there. X? What's the X? Um, go over it. Oh. Oh, it lets you go there. Okay. Oh. That oh. might work if you go there. Okay, you're fine. Nice. Oh, that just allows you through. I guess so. Okay. Way to go, another souls are free. Oh my god. You gotta move. Go, 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 through the maze, through the maze, through the maze. I played the first couple levels. Go through the maze. What? what? Go through the maze. That's like a pause. Ah. I also like the flashes in the tiles. The stick passes over. Nice bit of visual flair. Yeah, it's always the little touches that add to a game. I went right through. Oh, no. <laughs> Moving too fast. I think all you need to do is be over that X. Yeah. Like on it. On and it. then it won't pass through the X. On, sorry, on the X? Just sit on the X. Oh, so it doesn't pass so it through it. it doesn't go it. through and start going uh, through the maze, okay. right? Fair enough. I thought I had to block the, the, the void. Oh, it depends which side it's traveling on. See, you lied. You don't have to block the X. You have to block the void. Oh, because it's hard to tell which side it's on. Oh, it's on the bottom. Yeah. Okay. That's why it has the flashing. Kitten. So you can tell which side it's what on. What are you doing? Come over here, little cat. Squeaky. Hi, oh, I've got squeakers. two cats. Squeaker's the cat. Now, these two have not been getting along. Well. Well, one of them gets along famously, which is the black cat. The gray cat is supremely bothered by this little guy because he's got endless energy. So much energy. So he bugs the gray cat all day long. Oh, I see. Oh, go to the last one. There you go. I see. Seven, six. And you have a timer, which makes sense. Oh, timers in puzzle games adds that extra. Oh my goodness, you got to get it traveling around. Oh my gosh. And redirecting it. Well, it'll get the edge ones. Ah. It's going to be some optimal optimal route, though, right? Ah, I can't get ahead of it. There's oh. gonna, yeah, you're right. There is, I bet, it, an optimal route. Okay, you've done oh, all Oh, now I'm those. trouble. Now this is trouble. I don't know. I don't know. You have to abandon it once it's gone up in the air a little bit. Otherwise, it keeps traveling around you. I have to abandon it? You have to move away from it uh, once it's up in the air. So move, move, move. I can't. There you go. There you oh go. Oh my gosh. It's like, you ever play with the Jacob's Ladder? Yeah, that's It goes tick, 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 tick. It reminds me of that. Yeah. There you go. Getting there. Oh, you couldn't move because you were trying to move into it. Because, and it was already there. <laughs> so the timing of it. <laughs> it's very short timing because you have to move when it's on your left side, but before it gets to in front of you. There you go. Oh my gosh. Timer's vicious in this level. I can yeah, see that is correct. Yeah, it is super vicious. She has two seconds left. Yeah, Cleared you about have a to... third of it. Yeah, I get it. This, I don't know. This is going to be tough. Oh, you can go. 
to the same level. Nope, start from second option. Oh, okay. Luckily, you can continue on this level. And you probably want to oh get the second level ones when you can. Actually, you should be able to walk all the way along with it, like just keep moving. Oh, yeah, but you have to time it perfectly. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and it's, a lot of the times it wants to go more than one. Uh oh. know if this is fast enough. I think you do have to walk along with it. I don't even know if you can do that. You have to go tick, 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 tick. You can't. No? No, you can't. Not enough time? Because once it goes over your edge, it, it blocks your path. Yeah, you have to get it before it goes over your edge. Like, just when it just walks, walks, walks like that. Oh, I see. I saw you do it once. Yeah. Well, not there because it has to get the bubble. There you go. That is, yeah, you, you're right. You have to go walk, walk, okay. walk, walk. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. Oh, you got two. Oh, there you go. Okay. Yeah, you got the timing. Oh. Oh, you know what? That's what you can do kind of get them in between two or three. Actually, you can do a row of three. That's the optimal. That's what you're going to have to do. Row of three, row of three. And I think there's like three rows of three. Nice. Not quite good enough yet. Next time you will be. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's it's so precise. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. I think you can do it. Woo! I wonder. In order to beat this level, yeah, you need to be constantly I, motion. I wouldn't. Very... I wouldn't be surprised. I still had a lot to get. One row. <sighs> one one strand. Yeah, but that was not a lot of time. One, two. Running away! Do the bottom rows. Ugh. I'm not doing it, bro. You there can't. You, you do get stopped. Ugh, you get stopped by them, though. Yeah, the bubbles do stop you. I would get away from the wall, yeah. Because it could take off <laughs> on you. Ugh. Nice. 
Nice. Ah. Too quick. <laughs> you can do it this time. So I think you close. are. You have to be in constant motion. Yeah, very few mistakes and optimizing it as well. Oh, you could keep going. Trying to do something and it's not working. Mm. Just like getting one more each time. Uh, try going up, down. Yeah, you were going in a circle. I, I was just trying go to cross. I actually and think down I down. think the spiral is a better approach. Yeah? Actually, yeah. You have to hit them all. Every I don't know. I actually think try? in a spiral, you're more likely to have ev like things around you. So I think I'm gonna do one more, That's true. and I'll give it to you because actually, you're can... very close. Yeah, just, you have you did to. a lot of misses on that one. Mm. Ah, it's out of control. I, to, yeah. I know. Too close. I actually do think a spiral oh, is a good my approach. Skills are gonna be starting from the beginning. <laughs> it's okay. I need a break. It's stressing me out. Oh, two. I I think I do like the spiral though. 
I think my spiral was not ideal. Mm. There are a couple of spots where I should have shifted up because if you shift up one, you're in a better position to get them. Right. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So if I, if I pay more attention to that, I can I can make it work. Yeah. Yeah, you're better at the timing than I am. Should be one up, one to the left. Oh. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. you want to be, you want to. Ah. It really throws you for a loop. Much better than me. You're moving faster, I think. Yeah. I was very posy. Oh my god, you have so much time. <laughs> I was just very slow. Oh, obviously Dominate. very slow. First time I ever played this level. <laughs> <laughs> I was just too slow. I was thinking too hard. Destruction. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's optimizing and moving in that's and out true. while Going you move. That's true. Going opposite to the spiral. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. The spiral, I think, is the best approach, though. Oh my God, what's happening? I gotta chase it and get out of the way. Oh, it's just gonna. Oh Keep going. no! I gotta make it there. Uh... Uh, too slow. <laughs> but that one's pretty easy. Mm-hmm. Unlike the last one. <laughs> Just like introducing new concepts. Yeah, it's cool. It's like a maze, but then you gotta. Good job. Boom. Oh, but you didn't have much time. Mm -mm. Not that you need time. Okay, where is what's going on? You have like two seconds to analyze it. Uh, okay. Oh god. Oh. What are you trying to do? Pop these things. No, but. You also have to get the one in the corner. Oh, I'll do that last. But there's like something I need to do. Obviously, there you go. No, no. That isn't hard. Just have to get it in the right rotation. Yes, like that. <laughs> uh, oh, what's going on? I got to block it. Which way is it going? No, no, no. Okay, yeah, you go that way. Mm -mm. Ah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. You have to trigger it and then block the void. Oh god, how do you block the void? You have to block it on oh, two sides. Not that way. Nope. Um. You have to get him. Yeah, you have to get him going. Nope. No. Not that way. <laughs> not that way. Not that way. Um. How about I go around him? No. Oh, I almost got it. No, it's going the wrong direction though. Nope. Flies. Nice. It's fine. That's what you want, but you have to get ahead of it. How, so how you get it moving and get ahead of it, it's I, really I precise. It. I had it, that last one. Oh, oh I yeah. missed it. This game should have infinite lives. Agreed. Because it's just too hard. At least you can continue, I guess. No! Run! <laughs> what's that? What's the, the thing? Hmm? The, I don't the, know what that is. Uh, the, hit it. What does it do? Nothing? Oh, maybe the stick has to hit it. Nope. I have to get around it and then get it moving upward. No. Not like that. And you have to time it. Perfectly. Can we blame the fast passage of time on NTSC PAL difference? You can always blame <laughs> NTSC PAL. Chelsea Donnie Man yeah. says, I do. <laughs> I don't know. It, is it faster because I'm playing a PAL in NTSC? Don't know how you do it. I honestly don't. Oh my god. There's a trick to this for sure. Uh... Oh, I mm. had it. That's that's what I'm trying to do, and then I go down and around and I'm good. Yes, smart. <gasps> just up twice. Just, just don't jump into the into the void. No, you went too fast. <sighs> Up one, just one. No, it's a double. It, it, <laughs> it, it, it makes it go really fast. 
There we go, finally. Then you're gonna have to move. No. You have to move with it up. No, because then it'll it. go up. Yeah, that's fine. Isn't it? No, because there's stuff there. No, there isn't. Is there? Yeah, oh, there is. More. Oh, that's oh not even the right God. way to do this. No, because it hits that. It hits that switch, though. I bet that switch has something to do with it. I'll try it again. Yeah, try it again and get it to hit the switch. I gotta move fast. Uh, but not too fast. No, it's not hitting a switch. And if, it do, and if I do move up there, if I go here, and it goes around me, and I move up, it's just going to go into oblivion there. Maybe it'll do something with this switch? I don't think so. What I need it to do is get it going this way, then I block this, then I block this. Oh, I can't. Because no. it's already traveling. Do you think it? Do you think if you get it to hit that switch, the the teleporters will stop? Maybe. I think oh, you have to get it only, to hit that switch. It's my next thing. I'll try. So. No. It it hit it and it didn't do anything. So that's not it. Hmm. It's funny. Press the button. You can't move. Uh, that's not it. If I do this while it's coming, if I do this, there's no, no way to block it too and get to the next one. Tenny might be right. No, we tried it. It hit the switch. Yeah. Can you get it to hit the switch and then block it? No, it, it just so. keeps going. You can't get around it. Like there. It's going along get it the to bottom. Get it to hit the switch. I don't know. No. I know, I know what you're saying. So it won't touch me if I'm up here at all. Yeah. It's going along the bottom and we'll just hit there. So I have to block it here, which makes it go... Um, which makes it go up. But if I move there... Hmm, let's try that. That's what I meant to do. Okay. Can I do anything from here? No, because you can't get past it. Well, I can get past it. It's tricky, but I can get past it. I don't think it. you can. But does it help even getting past well, you it? You might as well try before time runs out. Oh, well. No, I have to analyze what's going on. stop here <laughs> can you get around it go up and down like up e e yeah if there? i time it yes and then you can try i don't know what, what that's gonna do because i'm blocking it once i'm I here know, i know and it either sends it into here or it might send it just back this way which yeah. e neither of them help it has to get it has to almost be going so I thought the stick hitting that switch makes it turn, change directions. It, it didn't. It didn't do anything. I'll try it again. Try it again. This is this is precise with physics like boulder, boulder dash. dash. Exactly. It oh, is. Ooh, uh, the pole is not on the... The cats win! Woo, cats! With... We'll switch it. 62.5%. 62.5%! Yay! Kitties win! Cats went down a little bit. Yay. Dogs are 31 uh, both. both are 62 per 6.2% uh, 6. and neither nice. are zero. Everybody loves the fluffies. Mm hmm Who doesn't like a fluffy? Okay, I'm going to try once allergic. more. Yeah, I can be allergic to them. Yeah. But you may still like them. Yeah, you can like them and be allergic to them. Hmm. Well, now you're on that side of it. I don't know if that helps. He won't crawl on you. No, he won't. 
he hit it, it did nothing. It did nothing. I, I, I feel like it's supposed to reverse direction somehow. Hmm. Maybe there's a, there's an issue. Or someone someone must have figured it out. Oh, yeah. Oh, they did. Um, I want it to go around me and around, but I, it needs a reverse direction. That's the problem. And I think I think that is supposed to make it reverse direction, but, but it's it not. But it doesn't. Any any ideas out in Chatland? Like, are, what are we missing? We must be missing something pretty obvious, which is usually the case. But I would have thought that that square would have had it reverse direction. Yeah, so did I. I thought that was one of the one of the things. Mm. Doesn't help. Hmm. Maybe it has to hit it a certain way. Mm. Can I get it going around the other direction? Oh, how nice would that be? But I can't. It's, no, because it's, it's turning a certain way. No matter what I do, right? Yeah. Nobody has any. No clue. comments. I see no comments. Yeah. That doesn't help either goes around me, mm -hmm. and I can't get in the way. I think we're done on this I, game. I think we're lost. Yeah. We can try the next. Can, you can adjust the levels, or can um, you not? Do you want to try the next one? Maybe. I feel like that is supposed to reverse direction. I think so, too. Um, you can go back to the main screen if you want. I'm trying to figure this uh, out myself. Yeah, I, I, I think that box... Maybe once you get to the lower left corner and the stick hits you, you have to move ahead right away. I've done. I still don't know how you way. get it to I've rotate gone up around and you. I've got right. It yeah. always. It's going in the wrong direction. Oh, I was gonna say go back to the main screen um, and to, yeah. to the instructions because. Can't. <laughs> oh, you have to. You have to reboot the whole thing. That's okay. Die. Mark, I can just, just die. die. Yeah. Go, go, go into the pit. One soul left. One it's left. It's going in the right direction, is it? Is it? Oh, cats are stinky. Yeah, they are. That you can move into, but no. the stick can't. No. I can't get past this. No, go, okay, go down to what is this about, because they had... Um, that box. Pick it up. How do you pick up the box? Oh, you can pick it up? There you go. Oh. So I can pick move it up that. first. Can you? <gasps> and then you pick it up. Oh, and then you can block it. Perfect. All right. Oops. Oops. <laughs> it didn't make sense when I was reading it. Like, pick up, pick it up. That's what the button's for. It. And you just block it. Oh my god. Oh, Hallelujah. That took forever. <laughs> That's why you read the instructions. <laughs> Chelsea Donnie Mouse says, good news. Once you figure out it, it'll be blindingly obviously forever. <laughs> yeah. That is very true. That is how it works. Okay. Oh, lots of boxes. Are those block, boxes? I got a block, but it's just going to get past me. Yeah. Well, those are boxes. Are those boxes? They are. Go get them. So I can... You need at least two. Oh. In that amount of time? Oh, I can block it first. I can, like... Block it in? Block it in, but... There you go. But that's only one. You can get... Well, you can get... You can get... No, the, they get the one furthest away. That one? Yeah. There you go. And then you'll have to move... Oh, you can move yourself. Yeah. So grab one, put it on the second one, block the first one. Oh, no, you can't run past it. Oh, God, I don't know. I don't know how you're going to do that. Yeah, you somehow have to get all three. Yeah. Is 
So get that guy. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know either. You have to get get one, deposit it, get the other one, and then and then move into it. Move really fast. Oh, I know. Do you? I think you do it a bit at a time. I think. Or. Oh, but I don't have any time to do that. Like. Oh, you go, can do all three. I go like this. <laughs> no. You can pick up all three. Can't you? Can you I? Had oh, pick, you maybe. You two picked up. Maybe. Did I? Yeah, I think oh. so. Nope. No. Uh, I take One it. at a time. Make a bigger area to get more time. Well, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Easier said than done. <laughs> right in the void. That is very true. Oh. You laughing at me? I, I always <laughs> I'm not laughing at you, I'm laughing with you. Oh, I see. You can block it too, right? Like, oh yeah, that's right. So you can pick up a block and just keep it blocked. Oh, yeah. You're missing my point. Right. I, I understand. There's very little time to do this stupidity. <laughs> ah! <laughs> but I think I that's I second. think that's it. Yeah. Where you just pick one up and then just block it and then go put it down and then block it again. Yes, exactly. And then go put it down. And then ah, block it again. Uh, well, not there. I gotta get in there. I think I gotta go like get in there. No, you're picking up. You pick the one furthest away first, because that's the hardest one to get to. Oh, that would work too if you get it circling. Oh. There you go. You just need to get it circling. Okay, okay. Yeah. So block it. Yeah. <laughs> but that's the answer. Get it circling. But, but, but you can block it in. Just go after the one furthest away from you. There. So get that one first. Then you can just block it again. There you go. Good job. I don't care about blocking it or anything. I just need to quickly, quickly get these blocks. So time is going to... Um, yeah. Go, run fast, fast. Do it, do it. <gasps> wow! <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, you got it, though. You yeah, got it. Yeah, I got it. There you go. Be so careful. Can fall into oblivion, like it says. Oh, oh God! Oh, I knew that was gonna happen. Because you have to, you have uh. to, you have to get it. I don't know why you choose the furthest point to end up. Oh, uh, I, I don't would know. I would put the other three and then No, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> you have to get it going up against the other wall. Mm, I know. It's hard. It's not easy. No, bad thing. Get back here. <laughs> to the top, exactly. <laughs> Along and the then top. it'll go back around. Mm. Thank you, Vitoko. There you go. Put the boxes in the one furthest away so you can just get into the closest one. Sure. I don't quite understand why you did the other way. Okay, you're running out of time now, so. Oh, but you told me to do it. No. Oh, okay, there you go. Get in there. There you go. Hush it. Hush. Hush it. <sighs> Four seconds Yay! left. New world record. <laughs> New world record. <laughs> Woohoo. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at all of them. Oh my goodness. What is happening? <laughs> I can't even He's get He's just there. around the outside for now. Oh, that's the last thing you want to do. <laughs> Okay, he's around the outside. Yeah, he's around the outside. See, so just watch him run around the outside for now. Okay. 
now he's made a path for me. Oh boy. You're gonna have to no. walk with him, I think. No, I think I just get him to rotate around me for the first little bit. Stop falling. Like here. Oh. That'll get that one. But you have to do no, it no, cleverly. That's okay, you were thinking. And... You have to do it cleverly. No! Keep going. <laughs> oh boy. You have to do it while it's happening. And then, let's see, you have enough time to do it. Gosh, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> no! I bet there's a specific path. 100%. The middle ones. It's the middle ones. Bottom left sphere should be the last one. Ugh. Ugh. Oh you have to my walk God. with it. I don't know how. <laughs> In the middle part there? Oh my God. Yeah. That is, I bet that's a very precise path. Yeah, you have to move with it perfectly. Ah, I messed up. No. No. Okay, done. We're gonna stop here. <laughs> this one's gonna take too long. I think this, yeah. Just run out of lives and um, then go. It's gonna go here. <laughs> Brutal. Brutal. I know how to get that one. And the one on the other side. But it's those four, and I know how to get that one. Yeah. Because you just sit in the corner. And I th think I know how to get that one. No, I don't. No, you have to wander with it. You have to. There's just no way. No, not like that. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, come on. Keep moving. Three. Oh, you have to go there as it comes. Oh my gosh, yeah. Run out. What's my code? <laughs> oh, E-L-D-A, so... Anybody want to start from? Anybody wants to start from level twelve? No, you can't play this. No, we're done. Can't it's play one, it. one shot. No, no, you can play it on your own time. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> we're done with that. All right. We're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. <laughs> Hi, kitties. Okay, so second game tonight uh, is K Korma. Don't start it. Uh, we are going to look at this. I, I don't know if you remember this. In uh, This is by Inufuto. Uh, this is the Japanese game developer who, is, who has a compiler that... Oh, did I not open the... Oh, I didn't open it. doesn't matter. Actually, it does. It's kind of cool. One second. There it is. One second, let me get this page up. That's way too big. Deal with the cat snake, hold on. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> it's pretty bad. So this uh, developer has a cross compiler that allows him to make a game, very simplistic, very tile based usually, um, and then compile cross compile it for multiple systems. This game in particular, he has 39 different operating systems that he has built this game for. So you can see them all down here. Tons and tons and tons and tons. Um, this one including uh, ColecoVision, Apple II, Atari 800, BBC Micro, VIC-20, uh, what are TRS-80, ZX Spectrum, um, and we, when he released his 10th game, we did a special show where we played all of his games. Thank you for the reminder. Um, all of his games that he had uh, made up to that point. Mm. Um, so this is his and MSX, um, which is ColecoVision as well. Um, so this is his 11th game that he's made, I think. Um, and it is kind of a kicks, tile-based kicks style game mm. of sorts. Um, so let's take a look at it. So if you want to load it, this was, this build is from July 3rd, two days ago. Mm. Uh, Kcorm, Kcorm, I don't know, <laughs> hard to know, uh, it's 16k game, um, so the instructions are, the instructions are always so basic, what he, what he lists as the instructions, it says, um, you can erase it by drawing a line and surrounding the star, it is clear when all the stars are erased, those are the instructions, so, um, basically you, Draw a line like kicks. It's not going to get any clearer by reading that. No, but I didn't hear what you said. Oh, don't I worry about it. It doesn't it. make any sense. You can... So no, what is... <laughs> you can erase it by drawing a line and surrounding the star. Huh. Okay. Um, and his Twitter post, when he posted about this, he added, I use player missile because there are up to five moving objects. So he does mm. customize some of the games. He goes in and changes things so it works okay. on the system. Nice. Go for it. Um, that's a, that's everything. So you're the blue guy, and so you draw automatically. Your paths actually block the enemy, okay. which is good, and you have to just join up back up to your line. Now you can join up to your line at any part in the line. It doesn't have to be. Uh, go up, go to the left and up. I, oh, I get it. I get it. You can it. go anywhere you want. Yeah, absolutely I get it. anywhere you want. So he's completely blocked in the right-hand side, but he's also blocked in the right-hand side. And, but you can just do two stars at once. Don't sit too long. He goes a beeline straight for you. There you go. Oh, oh, clever, clever. Oh, was that not surrounded? Because you went around it? Oh no. And it all has to be within. There you go. Oh, oh. He did it. He did it. So it doesn't matter where he is. No. He, relative to anything else. No, he's irrelevant. He just okay. don't let him touch you. But he can't go through your path. So it, it is a little bit relevant. Okay. But the stars have to be inside your path. Now, you can get extra lives. Yeah. It's a little bit weird. When you surround the stars, like this one, you'll see an extra life. Right there, that up. Yeah. But you have to collect it. But you're finished the level, so you couldn't what? collect it. So that the best sense. idea is to not get every single star. It's to get every star but one. But the more stars you get in a row, the higher the the amount you get from the stars. Stuck. Oh. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Tricks. That's how you do it. Very tricky. Okay, just a warning, when you get to the level where there's two guys, it's oh, going to flicker sure like crazy. Be... Oh, I see. There's a bug. Oh, no! So you'll just have to work through it, because once you get to three guys, 
It's fine. So he needs to ah, fix this. Yeah, no bug, kidding. Unfortunately. Um, so I'm going to post it after uh, to him on Twitter because I realized it too late. I had already scheduled it, but I thought it was a really, really cool game. It is a cute game. Ah! No! You can cancel your line by yeah. joining up. So. You're never real. You can get yourself stuck. Oh, yeah. If you block yourself in without being able to complete the line. Earthquake level! It's not a bug, it's a feature. <laughs> That's right, it just makes it a little bit harder. So what you want to do is get every star but one. Because if you don't get enough stars, you don't the get extra the life won't happen. It'll just be 100, 200, etc. There you go. Some levels don't have extra life. Thanks. Reason. Thanks for letting me. I don't know. I don't know the logic completely. Uh, oh, no. no, I'm trapped. You can still do it. Just don't touch your line. Oh, they're pretty trapped, but not completely. Uh, oh, you should have gone in. Up, up. Oh, oh, no. I was trying to be... It's the shaking. It's good. <laughs> yeah, it is a big challenge to debug issues, but I, I guess he builds them all tries them. Oh, I see. And he obviously didn't try this build. Didn't get to the... Up to two pl two enemies. Yeah, up to stage. Because it does that on the emulator as well. Oh. So whatever even okay. emulator he's using. But we can continue. Luckily. Everyone in Twitch is twitching right now. Uh, my eyes. <laughs> my eyes. My eyeballs. Oh, you're playing my level. Yeah, you can continue, which is cool. Oh, that is cool. These guys are so cute. Ah. No, you can't wait. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. You can't wait because they just come directly for you. Do. Earthquake level. You'd be blocked off now. It's not a bug, it's a feature. Ha ha ha! Oh, I think I got it. Yay! Extra life. It's random. It's random. Mm. Because that was those were only four, right? I'm going to trap you. I just wish if you trap them, they would die. Yeah, yeah. that would make nice. it too easy. Oh, one up there, finally. I have to get to it though. I will do my best. And those guys are gonna come right for ya. Can I lure them and you then can, go? You can, yeah. I think I get the stars too. Yay! There's a little thing that opens in the top, but you can't go through it. So I'm not sure what that's about. It does flicker, but only at the end of the level. So he's like drawing too much or something. Is it weird that the player and moving sprites are stable? Oh, this is working. Three is fine. Yeah, I said that. You're not listening to me. Well, I didn't hear you say the three. I just heard you say the two. Well, because I was playing. <laughs> this is what happens. You are a little bit faster than them, it a looks like. A little bit. It is a bit weird that the player moving sports are stable. So it's those are drawn by player characters, I'm guessing. Mm. Player missile characters. And the other thing. I don't know much about programming the Oh god. Uh, oh. You have to move. Uh, they're coming from every corner too. Yeah, that's bad starting position. And there's for me. no blocking them. It's not easy anyway. Well no, you have no not no little blocks or anything. Ah, ha, 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 Good once. job! No extra lives, Very so I didn't nice. miss out. But you get higher score. Yes. Three, four eight Eight hundreds. Yeah, eight percent. Looks like... Eight percent? <laughs> they're eight hundred. Really? really? I thought squished. they were percentages. They're just not enough room to... They look like percentages to Eight percent. <laughs> you get eight like, percent score. Why are you only getting eight percent? Well, in kicks, it does give you percent, so... That does make it sense. It looks like a percent symbol. Am I the am I am I crazy? Just the player character doesn't have enough room, I guess. Yeah, you're on Twitch, so this display might as well twitch. Might as well. See it when it counts it goes blip blip. I don't I don't know why though. Now there's four. I thought it was percent. See RC70 oh, agrees really? with me. 
Because it's the two zeros, like, diagonal right. from each other. That does make sense. Like, why are you only getting 8%? Is it like a score? I thought it was like a score modifier. Can I do it? Oh, oh, I can. You get, a, like, a little bit of your tax back, you know? Like a little <laughs> 8% tip, you know? That's right. 8%. They are 8%, like that. 8%, 8%. I think that's the width. It's just eight, yeah. 8 pixels wide. It's just, oh, I wrapped around. Oh. Back to 1. Stage 11. Are they moving faster? Oh, is he? I no. won the game! I won the game! I won the game. I don't think I can do this. <laughs> Ooh, maybe I can. Maybe I can. Maybe I can. I did. So there's ten stages, I think. Yeah, just ten stages. Button doesn't do anything. I'm... I'm it's faster vertically, that's what. You just run around the outside. There's only one dude. It's true, it's a little easier than one dude. I think it would need it would be better to make it like faster. Or they get faster. Yeah, for but with with each there's level a problem. Ten stage. Oh I can't go up. Go up, go up, go up. Thank you. Um, there would be a problem with them going faster because it might be too hard. Like you just cannot win. Well, that's okay. Well, you have there's to be always to win. ways. Yeah, there's always ways. Maybe the, I think the mazes are different though. I don't know if those are randomly generated or not. No. Okay, and that's where we stop. Because <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to. <laughs> and play there goes, this there goes again. my brain. Yeah. <laughs> I guess just repeat and get more and more score all the time. That's but I, I love. I like the concept of it a lot. The concept is great. It's like a twist on kicks. Mm. Um, it's a little too easy, in my opinion. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, but really, really great. It just needs higher levels. Mm -hmm. I don't know what you would do. Make them a little bit faster. More blocks in the maze, maybe? Or, I don't know if you could have some that move differently. Like, one oh, that's yeah. random versus one that tracks you. That would be good, too. Yeah, like the ghosts in Pac-Man. Because one, these, you can that, lure them. One that hangs around where you want to tie it back to. Yeah. Like the beginning, mm -hmm. where you started. Um, Maybe. Yeah, things like that. Yeah, give them or different one, different movements. And... One that's heading towards where you are. Like in Pac-Man, one heads towards your, a little bit where, further a little ahead of where you. you're pointing to, nice. right? yeah. Still, uh, it's a it's a cool concept, it, and it, it's very, fun. Very cool. It's very fun. So the next and last game is Tensor Sakorskigo. Don't load it yet. No, I was trying to go backwards. Oh, you go apparently to the left. Apparently, that doesn't. Oh, That's one okay. direction. Apparently, I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> the only one you didn't do. Yeah. Um. So this one is pure puzzle. Yeah, game. pure puzzle. But. You don't have to think too much. Like you don't have to sit there and stare at it too much. So it's it's good in that way. Um, so a little bit of background on this one. It is made by uh, Raphael Chab Chabowski. Raphael, Raphael, Raphael. Raphael. Um, so it was made originally in 2017, a limited demo version nice. of certain number of levels. Look at that. And it came in first place at the I Ironia? I Ironia party that took place in Wysoka, Poland. Very nice. So it did very well. It was very nice. Look uh, at that our art. Yeah, that's beautiful. Um, it's a 48K game. Uh, the build we're going to be playing was released yesterday. Uh, on uh, binary, mm. it was released on cartridge. Um, I don't know if it's unlimited or limited. If they have any copies left, um, but this is what the cartridge oh, looks like. Look at that! And it was boxed as well. It was uh, made by the same people who did Flob. Oh yes, remember yeah. that one? Mm -hmm. So the packaging is very similar. The cartridges are similar. Um, there's the packaging, and I think it was how much was it? Go to the oh. top. Moving fast. Moving fast. Uh, forty-nine U.S. dollars. Okay. So that's good, and uh, only seven dollars shipping. shipping. That's so not bad. So Polish shipping is very, very cheap. Yeah. I wish ours was that cheap. It's like it would be like twenty, thirty dollars to ship something. Oh that big. God, it's ridiculous. Canadian. Yeah. Um. So the physical release was put. 
was uh, the pre-order list started November 21st, and they mm. started arriving two months ago. Nice. Um, to people, so you can see there's the the list, and I got about I think 20 or so people, and uh, I think, and there's also a high score club club that you can because this has a QR code that you can scan nice. and scan into and post your high scores. Nice. Now, if you don't finish the game, mm. you're definitely not going to get a high score if you don't do all the levels because mm -hmm. unfinished levels count for 9,999 points. Off your total score. Added to your score. You're going for a low score. Oh, I see. Number okay. of moves Yeah. for this one. So the only person who has registered a score and finished it is MQ, who mm. I think runs this... Form? Form. <laughs> this, this high score this page. thing. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Um, so some other people, that's the person who made the game. Wow. Um, so they've just registered a score. Um, so let's start the game, and I'll tell you... Uh, some more stuff about it as we go. If you could select it. Left go back? button. Go left, hold left, hold left, hold left, and button. Hold left, button. There you go. The extended version released Ooh, yesterday. Extended. So I'm guessing this is the cartridge copy of it. That is gorgeous! Really nice. <gasps> Look at that! It's treat time. Yum, yum, oh, yum. oh treat good timing! Time. Time. Good toko! Are we gonna try again? Are we gonna try again? You had so many last time! Not so many this time. They're gonna get chonky. Chonky cats. Well, not the kitten, because he just runs. The great cat. Runs around all day long. Oh my gosh, he has more energy. Yeah, ring the bell. Ring it. Bring it. Bring it out. Bring it. Bring it. So make sure he's looking at you and try to ring it when he's, his face is there. Good kitty. This, yeah, he recognizes kitty. that's. He went, oh, when I rang it. Try it again. Here, you have to put a treat on it. I don't know if they'll do that, they'll just eat the treat. Good kitty! He he did bad it. First. I saw it. I saw it. Treat time with pokey music, yes. Yes. <laughs> do, 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 do. Okay. No, no. Let him let him hit it. Let him try to hit it. He's still not getting the hitting it. Good kitty. Good kitty. Good kitty. Oh, good kitty. Good kitty. There you go. He's like, oh, I get free treats. I don't have to do anything. <laughs> he's he's going to become a, a what Pexel did. She's going like, meh. Yeah. That's what happens. Get the youngins to do all the work. Good kitty. Good kitty. He did it. He did it. He did it. <laughs> Woo. Achievement unlocked. Did he get one? Did he... Yeah. Okay. I don't know. Did he eat it? He seemed to like. Or did he get sit it. on it? I think he sat on it. Kittens, it's under you. Achievement unlocked. Okay, do it. Come on. Good kitty. Did he hit it? No, but he was batting at okay. it. Okay, that's a good. That's good. I've got one more each for each of you. Way to go, Sprite! Yeah. Or he just like swallowed it whole or something. <laughs> I think he did. Come on. Hit it. Good kitty! Yeah! Did you hit it? Yeah. No, you gotta get him to hit it! One more. Okay, one more. And I'll let him hit <laughs> We're it. We're gonna get so chalky. He won't. Uh, they all will. They all will. <laughs> <sighs> they all do in the end. We all get chalky in the end. Ready? Good. Come on. Come on. Good, Good kitty! kitty. <sighs> he did it! <laughs> It's like the game earlier and just needed some time to me meditate on the puzzle. That's yes. right. Good, good sprites. Good fluffies. Yeah. Are you going to remember it for next time? We'll see. <laughs> next time we're just putting it out and we'll just wait. Yep. If you don't hit it, you don't get drinks. Okay. Okay. It is time. So. So go to info. <sighs> 
Do you I... want me to read it? Yes, please. <laughs> Arena, Arena's Ch- Chaskowski, the assistant professor, is looking for mystical almonds on the planet <laughs> Ooh, Jupiter. Mystical Ooh, almonds. I want mystical I want, almonds. We have some mystical almonds. Oh, up, do we? Upstairs, cho- covered in chocolate. Oh, he can't jump due to osteoporosis. Oh, oh, my God. And his gun is useless due to lack of ammo. Oh, no. He can, <laughs> however, use the gravitational tensor gear to plunge and mingle the space continuum <laughs> and make things fall down. Please help him aggregate all mystical <laughs> almonds to save the world from rotten evil and get some cheese. <laughs> aggregate all mystical almonds. That's quite the sentence. Aggregate. All options. Aggregate. Aggregate. Uh, don't do faint. Press a button on that. Do mighty acceleration. Is faint is way too slow. Mm. Uh, level rotation animated. That's fine. Lang- language is English. Yeah. That's fine. Don't change it to Polish. We can't read Polish. <laughs> someone someone in the chat can translate for us. No. That's right. Uh, high score select for Cure Code. Okay. Are we okay. Playing? So let's just... You have a story to tell. It's there irritating me that you haven't done that Press yet. Press button. There's a QR code. Okay. Which cavern? One. Okay. Okay. So I go and run every couple days. Um, mm-hmm. You can play. Actually, I'll get you playing first, because this doesn't take much mental energy. Okay, so you have to get uh, those swords. Okay. And you can run around by going left and right. And every time you move, it, it increases your score. But I can't go up That's or down. fine. No, I'm you can't stuck. go up or down. You can only go left or right. Now, if you hold the button and then press left or right, it rotates. Now you can go get that sword. Oh. And that's the game! <laughs> Best score, vacant. Blunge. Yeah, I don't know that word either. Blunge. So things falling on you can't uh, hurt you. You can't push things either. You can only... It's okay, I'm just going to type into the page. But we're not going to do a score or anything. Enter? Enter? Yeah, hold fire to skip. No, I don't want to skip. You want to enter. Sure. There we go. Well, we'll skip it each time, because I don't care. The ancient Skullish patio. The translations are really funny. I in like this. it. Lots of swords. I don't know where the almonds are, but there's lots of swords. Um, so I run every couple days mm-hmm. uh, nearby, and um, I have you know Bluetooth. The ones we've used on the show before. The Bluetooth earbuds, right? And my phone and a little thing that straps around my arm. <clears throat> I used to use wires, but it got really annoying. And now I have these Bluetooth headsets for doing the show. Cut a lot of all your bass like translations, yes. Blunge to mix clay or the like with water so as to form liquid suspension. That's an actual word. Wow, thanks for looking that up, nostalgic. Mm. You're buried. Ah, there you go. Um, and in this arm thing, it has a space for a key. Just one key. And it even has a symbol for a key on it. And so I just have the house key. I don't have my whole key set with, you know, the alarm thing on it and the car and everything else like that. Hold it. Hold fire to skip. I have to read. Read instructions. <laughs> Rotten pothole of a beast cat. <laughs> oh my god. These names are great. Is that litter box? Uh-oh. Is that a tr- oh. Oh no. Oh no. It's broken. Oh, it's making a noise. Oh no. Restart. Like that. Oh no, Fujin. Best score vacant. <laughs> it is good. Restart. Okay. I think you can pick the level. The rotten puddle of the beast cat. There we go. Cat. Okay. Oh, it did going. work. It may not work after this. We might have to skip to four. I don't know. No, it worked. Weird. Now there's vials that you have to get. I have to get those? I don't know. Do you? 
Yep. Um, so after I was finished running, um, I was just holding the thing in my that's used normally on my arm in my hand, just going up the hill, and just just holding it and walking. And I was listening to music, and all of a sudden I hear a ding, and something hit my foot. <gasps> oh no! And I'm like, I know what that is. <laughs> oh no! And my key had slipped out of the pocket and fallen. Okay. And hit my foot, and I kicked it away somewhere. <gasps> oh no! And it was. Uh, I was on the sidewalk just near near our house. Oh like no. Like just a little ways away. So just the individual key. The one key. Oh, so it wasn't like your whole keychain. I was like, oh, that's... But it's the key I need to get in the house. But I do have my phone. Um, so, unfortunately, it wasn't like, oh, it's a nice open grassy area. Oh, no. It was near like... You can keep going. What did that say? Sava? I, I missed no. that. Um, this is some very good artwork for what I'm guessing is graphics mode too. Mm. Yeah, because it's like single color per tile. Good music too. Um, so I had to search around in like the bushes. It was like some bushy areas, like plants, like a bunch of growth that it was about that high. So it could have fallen anywhere. It wasn't sitting on top, so I was looking for about five minutes. Just looking around for anything shiny. Couldn't find it. So I broadened my search, and it was actually, like, probably one foot ahead of me. Oh, really? Where I was walking. Oh. Because I assumed I kicked it into the bushes because I only heard one ding. Right? Like ding. Ding hit my hit foot. Hit something smushy. And I kicked yeah. it. And oh, I was like, no. oh yeah, it's in the bushes for sure. Fermentation at the station. Fermentation at <laughs> the station. These names are hilarious. Oh no. Oh no. Was that me? Nope. It's not you. Just have to remember what level you're on. Well, uh, yeah. I don't know what's going Fermentation on. Fermentation at the station. Yeah, you have to remember the level number, though. What was that? Oh, I don't know. There you go. You're on level five. At least it's very fast loading. Nope. We're going to level six. So anyway, I found my key. Because otherwise I'd have to phone... None of our neighbors have our keys. Because I don't want them to have our Your, keys. Uh, yeah, our <laughs> because friend... Because they can't have our keys. Our, our friend does. Yes. So you'd have to call her. Yes. Yes. Which is okay, because someone has it, but... Or you call me at work, yeah, and I come home. That would that would be... In a while. Yeah, I'd be like, I go hang out at the coffee shop Dystopia and... 6 for washed lions. That's so cute. Could somebody, like, just throw words into a I blender? I love it. I love... Oh, my no. goodness. It's broken. Troubles. It's broken. Does, do you need Level to blow... Seven. Do you need to blow in the cart or something? No, that's not it. <laughs> Spit into the cart a little bit? I'm getting, I'm loving the names, even though. Poultry, Poultry and Cock Squeezing Alcove. Alcove. What? <laughs> that is awesome. So okay. I did it for a second, then it went to the screen. Yeah. I'm going to have to let the, uh, if they aren't watching. No. Oh, you could have got the sword. I always forget that. That I, you have to run into it. Yeah. Uh, I'll let the, uh, People who made this game know about that issue. Oh no. Mm. So what you have to do is like be Oh, there you go. Never mind. Got it. Ah! Went the wrong way. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I figured that. One out. more to go. Very creative levels. Um, so the updates on the physical release from over the demo 
Uh, there's an English and Polish version. It was only Polish before. Nice. Um, Malignum. 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 Entity spot. Sure. I feel like it was just like... Uh, Probably rhymes well in Polish, maybe? Noun. Noun. Oh, entity. Yeah, there's no... There's Noun, noun, noun. Yeah, I don't know. On that one, anyway. Ooh, are uh, they spiky, or do I have to get them? As PAL and NTSC. Has a whole bunch of new levels. Um, code that rotates, animates the level when it's rotated, because before it just went blip all of a sudden. So that's a cool addition. Um, and as options for the gravity, because before it was just like really fast gravity, and now there's an option for slow, but I find it a bit too slow. Um, you get a high score, and you have locked and unlocked levels. Unfortunately, when we are resetting, they're all locked again. So we're going to hit a point, if it keeps breaking, uh... that we won't get be able to get past it, because it'll be locked. Just carved hole of Xenon the bug. <laughs> Funny. Level 9. Mm. Our, let's see, our protagonist is a scientist, Mr. Truskowski, who visits the caves of Jupiter in search of mystical almonds. Mystical almonds. We have to collect all those Grim mystical Grim evil almonds. soaks here. Oh, did you skip nine? Yeah, I did. Oh, okay. I'm skipping the ones that are failing. Oh, okay. Um, because the other one didn't work at all, so. Mm. So we went to Seattle on the weekend. That was a good time, yes. I did. On the way back, we um, just before we left Seattle, we went to Cineholic, <gasps> which is a cinnamon bun place. And what did I get on it? I got a chocolate covering. You're able to pick like your sauce, I guess, whatever you're gonna put on it, and then a topping. And I picked chocolate and then cookie dough. But the cookie dough was just like pure sugar. Why am I sucking at this so much? There you go. So I didn't eat the cookie dough, because it was like literally just sugar. But the uh, cinnamon bun was delicious. They said they were going to make some uh, Cineholics here in Canada. They did. In Vancouver, but that never materialized. Sadly. Those bars are the player missile graphics. Oh, Patoko knows. But that doesn't explain why oh, it's freezing, though. Like, I pressed all the buttons and pressed the joystick button, and it didn't get past it either. But are there enough players to account for as many columns as those take up? I wonder how they made the left and right sides have blue tiles while the center has a bunch of other colors. Oh, you're talking about those. Okay. The bars... Midline color changes. Hmm. Ah, wrong way. Ugh. There you go. Way too many. Way too many moves. 110? Because there's an optimal number of moves on each level, right? And that's how you get the low, low scores. Do those 8-bit have the same graphic restrictions as the 2600? That's a very good question. Is it just... No! Wrong there way! Go. There you go. You're safe. You got through it. No! No! Wrong way! <sighs> <laughs> Ooh. Interesting. Oh, I'm in trouble now. It's kind of... I'm trying to think of a game that's like this. It's kind of like those games where... Those marble games where you're moving the marbles around in a maze and you have to get them in the holes. Yeah, that's exactly what it's it is. It's kind of like that. Oh, you did it? Oh, what happened? What happened? Did you finish it? Yeah. The level? Okay. Having some trouble. Having a bit of trouble. It's okay. We're seeing a fair number of these. Yes. So good. Oh, it locked. Number 10 is the highest we can go. All right, let's see. What were the ones that we didn't, weren't able to do? 
Six. Press it right now. Press the button right now. Press it now. No, 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 no. Oh, you can press it early. Yeah. Did I do this one again? I don't know. I've been talking. Yeah, we went to a festival um, in Seattle. It was a seven-day festival. But we only we went, went to one, one day. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'd seen a lot of the other people that I had um, that were playing in the other days. Um, but we went for a very specific day. Like, I would have loved to go for all seven days. I think I would have oh, just yeah. died if it, Because how long was that day? It, go, it goes from... New, no, 4 to like 1 a.m. So it's like nine hours each day of music. <laughs> that was a lot of standing. There was not a lot of seats left. Makes me think of the minigame in Skylanders where you have to play to unlock the locks. Mm. Yeah, there's a lot of a lot of games now where it's no. the wrong way. Rotated the wrong way. No. Yeah, go to the left. No! It worked. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, it, it's not always... Uh, there's multiple ways of getting it. Well, it's not always instinctual which way I'm turning. Not doing the best job on this. Our Vidoko says uh, most of the restrictions, but there are four players and 2D memory, so the antic chip knows what to display vertically. You need interrupts to move the sprite horizontally while the screen is drawing in a frame. That sounds like the 2600. Like, you have to position the sprites horizontally in the 2600. Um, and I'm guessing that's why it just keeps displaying. Press it early. Press it early. Did you do this one? Nope. Yeah, you did this. You nope. did this maze. I don't remember this. Uh, oh. I don't remember the diamonds at all. Oh, okay. Four players. So that's an improvement over the... Uh... I remember you doing this one. Really? Maybe we can go to level 10 and then try and unlock by you pressing, like doing level 10, but then when you do the next level, just press it really like early, not waiting till it's finished drawing. Because it might be something coincidental with the drawing. There you go, no! What? Let's go to level no. 10. Oh, you played it already. You're right. Oh, I can't. Oh, we can do this. But we did level 10, didn't we? Yeah, but we want to unlock level 11. But we did level 10. So why? How do we unlock a level 11? By playing level 10, and it will unlock a level 11. Oh. Here. But I did, I did play level 10. But we're resetting each time, so it forgets. Oh, to level 10. No, it lets you play level 10. Right? Okay. And then it'll unlock level 11 because you did level 10. We haven't seen level 11 yet. Have we? No. Right. So but go we... to level 10. Yeah. And that'll allow us to seize the level 11. Press press the button early. There you go. So we finished level 10. We, we have not played level 11, right? No, I don't think so. Right. So in order to play level 11, we have to finish level 10. And I'm theorizing that if we press the button early, it doesn't do that crashing stuff. But that's just a theory. Oh, oh. you got the cup. No, I, it's, it's, I'm sometimes holding, just tapping the button. So I think I, I'm moving, but I'm actually turning this. Screen. Oh. I'm like trying to figure out like, oh, why is this so? Mm. Ah, boulder's annoying. There you go. that boulder. Or you have to get out of the way and then push the boulder somewhere else. There you go. Now the boulder's in a different spot. Clever. No. No, that's right. No. 
Hang no, I could have gotten in one. I, it's turning the wrong way. It's it's pissing me off. <laughs> oh no! No, see, I I don't know what's wrong with me. It's like Clockwise, unintuitive. Anticlockwise. I know it's unintuitive for some reason to me. Turning opposite to the way I want to. Oh, the cups are out in the open now. Dramatic waste of move moves. <laughs> Dramatic waste of moves. Oh, God. Remember to press the button before it's finished. Um... That seems to be helping it, doesn't it? There's oh. 11. You don't even have to see the title screen. Interesting. Just keep holding it? Yeah. Stuck in a block of blocks. Mm. Ooh. How do I shift it? I can't move though. Oh, I know why. I know. I get it. Well, you have to get the sword to you. Ah, wow, that's really clever. No, do it the right way. And then the sword kind of mingles with the rocks. while falling. No, no. You, you had to guide the sword all the way so hopefully it doesn't crash. Yay, so you can just, just skip. push and hold. Yeah, and it goes right to the level. Good game, Nostalgic says. Really good music in this. Wow. This is like some other game that I'm... No, it's like puzzle games. Where you're trying to get rings off a string. Right? Especially when things are like blocked and you're like, I can't move that because that's blocking that. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what I'm doing. Except put I'm just video like randomly doing things. Yeah, you have to like walk to a certain spot so that if you, well, you fall can. down, hmm, and then you block things. thing about this is that there's more than one solution because you can ah. make things move all over the place that's what I wanted to do nice two to go the same problem that I did before. Hmm. 
You just have to be on the other side of that hole. Like if you move, go down or up, then shift everything to the left. What do you mean? And now make all those lanterns go on that side and then you get over. Yeah, and how am I supposed to do that? Because I have to turn it. It'd be easier if you weren't in that spot where it should be on the right hand side all the way to the right because then those rocks don't block you i don't understand what you're like where down to the bottom move, go down, move to, the down bottom. to the bottom because then because then rocks aren't blocking you when you're trying and then turn it oh same i way see again. what you're saying and there you go you get, yeah get that one this one i i don't know oh there you go done yeah it was like da, da, da. did you hold it yeah. All the way? You didn't hold it all the way. There you go. Weird. It's being a little weird. I'm guessing the levels get progressively harder. Get those hearts. Ooh. Get the hearts when you can, right? <laughs> nice. One more to go. I'm glad you got your key back. <laughs> when you said you lost your key, I was like, what? You might be trying to get the heart out rather than... Yeah, I have to get that other block out now. Yeah. Get past mm -hmm. it. Yeah. There we go. Nope. <laughs> oh, you need to get the ball to the other side. Yeah. Um, there you go. Yeah. Now, now get the Oops. other way. Yeah. yeah, sometimes it's unintuitive. Perfect. Maybe? Hmm. Sure. Yep. That works. There you go. <laughs> Yay! Get that heart. The ball's coming after me. Run! <laughs> Run, Indy! Oh, no, it came up. It's a cute game. I like it a lot. Very Especially like cute. the titles. Even though we seem to have lost them, but that's okay. Yeah, sadly. It doesn't like the titles. We like them, but it doesn't. <laughs> Oh, I gotta get those balls out. Yeah, it's easy if you go to the other way. 
rotate it the other way. Yep. And back, and back, and back, and back, and back, and back. No. Nope. You want to you get them out. In that tight space is going to be... Ah, it's not... Oh, you could have gotten it. What? You just missed your opportunity to get it because you were right next to it. Now, now go the other way. You're going there. I, I keep going the other way. That way. Go. Nope. Going backwards. I guess it is loosening it. There you go. Yay! Yay! No, you can't climb up. You can't push. No, you can only go left to right. Yeah. Only left and right and turn. That is like the only things you can do. I'm very confused as to what this has to do with almonds. <laughs> Because Maybe. all I can think about now is, is almonds, but <laughs> chocolate-covered almonds. Oh, there will be chocolate-covered almonds have it happening. <laughs> oh, the chocolate-covered almonds. Hmm. No. There you go. Not really. You're right back where you started. I have to get those two so I can step on one On one side, them. yeah. There you go. There you go. Yay! Good job. Yes! It doesn't even say the score anymore. You just hold it down till it goes to the screen. Yeah, but I, 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 I didn't hold it down one time and it just skipped, so I don't know. I think something funny has happened. They're like metaphorical <laughs> almonds, you know? Like, not real almonds, just yeah. like... Kind of almonds. There's metaphors. These are surprisingly hard to get out. Because <laughs> they just go into the cracks and you yeah. can't go there. Well, there's no... You can't hit them straight on. The only place you can hit them straight on is at the bottom. I like along... Along that bottom edge. You have to get your... But to the oh, I know. Edge. I'm just gonna get them all down there. Yeah. And then eventually you'll be able to get yourself in there. I hope. Walk into it. No, oh. no, no. Go back. Walk. Turn. Not well. Yeah. There you go. Nice. Yay! Good tactic. Good I like metaf metaphorical almonds too. Tasty metaphorical oh. almonds. <laughs> yum yum. Oh, do I need to get all these out? I. I don't think I can even get in there. Uh, it's possible. Yeah, I need to get them out. Other way? Yeah. Shaky, shaky, shaky. Shake them all out. Shake them all out. There's probably like a super optimal way to do this. I'm sure there is. Okay. Let's get some more out. Well, no, because once you turn it back, they go back mm. down. So you almost want to shake out one at a time. Tomorrow I'm going to enjoy some metaphorical almond butter on my simile bread. I find almond butter very grainy. <laughs> Especially metaphorical almond butter. <laughs> metaphorical almond butter. It can be very, very hard to get down. And very rich, too, the <laughs> I've tried a bunch of butters, and peanut is the one I go back to. Oh, I love a good oh, natural peanut butter. Peanut butter's so good. That, that needs to be the next poll. Natural <laughs> or like... Dessert peanut butter. Dessert, or what do I like to call it? Um, icing sugar peanut butter. Yeah. <laughs> which is like the Kraft peanut butters, which I, I my childhood was eating that stuff. Most people's work. But then once you start eating the natural and you go back, you suddenly realize how much Whoa, sugar is in so it. So much sugar. <laughs> Because we buy stuff that's literally, the ingredient is... Peanuts. Peanuts. Yeah. There's no salt, even. I know it sounds so a little, good. I don't know, 
you get used to it and then it's like delicious. a little hippie or something but eh. yeah once you're used to it it's just like pure fat it's so good oh yeah it's the yummy fat it's oh yummy fat you need to get down there no go down yeah and then turn ah. dip, dip, Boom. Dip, dip. now you're trapped <laughs> Trap forever Trapped forever oh oh go to the right and then yeah you get to know like certain some of the tricks tricks on how to manipulate these things into where you want them to go. Yay! Ah. I do that too. Biscoff cookie butter is good. <laughs> is that the one that they sell at um, Trader jo Joe's? Is the Biscoff? We went to Trader Joe's on the way back. Uh, or, or the same flavor, I think. Okay. And I have a friend who really likes it, so I bought a tub for them, but now I'm very tempted to eat it myself. Oh so. no! I'm surprised you, well, not surprised you didn't buy one. Yeah, nostalgic. Agreed, old style is dangerously so. Yeah, I think I think it is It is the same flavor. It's like the Trader Joe's version of it. Like I'm most just going to have to there. bring these to me. Yeah, we do not have Trader Joe's in we Canada. did. Well, no, we didn't. Does everybody know the, the story of Pirate Joe's? Yeah, we had Pirate Joe's for a long time. Some guy yeah. was going across the border. Yep. And buying a stuff, a whole bunch of stuff from Trader Joe's. Yes. And then bringing it back to his store called Pirate Joe's. Yes. And that's <laughs> hilarious. And it was around for a couple of years. Yes. And then the government went, or Trader Joe's kicked up a fuss. Yeah, eventually. You can't sell our stuff. We can only sell our stuff. Why didn't you get that? You couldn't. Yeah, you could. Yeah. Oh. There you go. And Canadians like, what? Well, we'll then sell your stuff here. Yeah. And they're like, no, and you can't have it either. Uh, We're gonna shut down Pirate Joe's. Oh, and poor shut Pirate down Pirate Joe's. Joe's. And now everybody has to go to the U.S. to get Trader Joe's stuff. Yeah. And it's outright, downright annoying. Yeah. <laughs> And I think the reason why we don't have Trader Joe's is because if they did open a store in Canada, they would have to put French labeling on everything. That's exactly that was why. the rumor. That was the rumor as to why they wouldn't open a store in Canada. Seems a little lazy. They'd have to get it all tested again as well. Uh, yeah, I mean, and we do have thing, our own food inspection agency and everything, so they'd have to buy I into that whole scheme. I figured out a little bit why, because they oh, they put their own stuff out it's all their own stuff so they'd have to get every single skew done that they own yeah and that's a lot of work yeah it is yeah it's but how did pirate joe's pirate joe no pirate joe's well they no they didn't they they labeled it in french did but they that, but that didn't help they still got shut ah uh, language politics <laughs> french No, come back! No, come back! Tedious. Kind of just get near it, and then you just chase after it as it falls down. Yay! Oh, I she's... spread rhetorical butter on my bread. <laughs> it tastes the same. <laughs> rhetorical it's butter. It's rhetorical. Oh. Same level. Would a rhetorical butter okay, taste... Okay, we're done then. Would rhetorical butter taste the same or have no taste at all? <laughs> if it's rhetorical. It's, it doesn't, it's it doesn't rhetorical, mean... so it doesn't mean it's there, but yeah. it means it's not redundant. So it doesn't no, need to be... but it wouldn't have flavor. You no. wouldn't, it wouldn't be there. Yeah, so, so it wouldn't taste like anything. Yeah. Oh no. Does water get why, things wet or Why did or I feel like nitpick, nitpicking at that right now? Yeah. It's like that stupid thing going around problems. right now. Is water wet or does it just get things wet? Is it wet itself? 
Well, if water gets things wet, then the molecule of water beside another molecule of water is getting that molecule of water wet. So every molecule of water is wet except for the last one. True. Then that one's not wet. It's a very <laughs> it's just a molecule it's a very of water. Chemistry-based um, <laughs> approach to that question. Nobody like it was on yeah. some show I watched, and they're being. <laughs> And they were being stupid about it. Uh, they were being stupid so about I was, it. So I was thinking about it. You want to like, be stupid about it? I can if, be stupid about it. If water gets things wet, then water is getting itself wet. Yeah. Except for one last yeah. molecule. Mm. So, excellent game. Um, a little weird acting on this, but we got around it. Uh, but the game itself is great. I think there's some little weird things happening, but yeah. Yeah. Super awesome. Yeah. Well, what it. about when water is frozen? Well, then it would be ice. Then it's just getting it cold. <laughs> 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 Not getting it wet. Because you don't get wet from ice until it melts. But if it's still well, ice it's and you're melted, defining it's water. it ice. It depends on how you define water. Not H2O, but water. Because water... No, liquid. Is water... No, no. Water, as we use the term, yeah. refers to liquid water. You don't say frozen water. Well, you could say frozen water, frozen water, but ice means frozen water. So I would say it depends on how you define the term water. Water can be something other than H2O? Well, no, that water is H2O in liquid okay. form. Okay. So what are you saying then? I'm Well, I'm saying, <laughs> what about when the water is frozen? Is it yes. water when it's frozen or is it ice? Oh, it's ice. Just like it's gas. But but is is water a general but then term? I'm you're thinking, saying? Yeah, I'm I'm talking about the English, like the term of oh. using it. However, you could say nobody frozen says, water. Nobody says, would you like some frozen water? Would you like a block of water yeah. in your water? <laughs> yeah, and what does mean mean? Thank you. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> what does mean mean? Yeah, we're gonna have getting we're getting very philosophical. <laughs> I'm afraid to answer your question, it might be rhetorical. Ah, ah, ah. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, please. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> So we had lots of great games today. Yes. I really like them. Oh. Um, I'm always... Oh, got to pick up that... So this guy hit the bell. I think... Yes, he graduated. He, he gets a good game today. Good game. Good game. GG he leveled kitty. up. He leveled up today. He did. Yeah, a little did fluffy. Did. He's like a little black, fuzzy... He's a void. Velvety cat. He is a void. <gasps> That's what that stick was trying to get. He was trying to pick up all the oh, all the, the black sprites cats. on the screen. All the sprites. Because he is a bit of a black void. Oh, he's so cute. Yes, he's you are. adorable. Ding ding. Yes. <laughs> Don't think Good it's time game. yet. Good game, Good kittens. Game, kitten. He did well in his game he that he played. He did very well. He got some treats out of it. We'll see if he remembers for next time. <laughs> um, remember, you're all warm and, and upset oh. that I picked you up. But he's warm and pliable. Oh, he's so sweet. Oh, kitty. He's very. Oh. So we played uh, Kidge Samobige. Samobige? Samobige. Kidge Samobige. Wow. Uh, which was very challenging, but you know, you figure it out and you get it. And luckily, you're able to. You don't get infinite lives, but you're able to continue. Mm. But I guess there's score. Mm. So I understand. It resets to zero. So that's a good way of doing it. Just like the last one we played, you can keep playing. Yes. But you lose your score. You lose your score. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and uh, Kcorm, uh, a couple bugs there as well. I'll let the author know. Yeah. His Atari 800 build is a little funky on when but there's fun. two enemies. Yeah. <laughs> and only a tiny bit weird when there's three. It just judders a bit. Mm -hmm. And the last one, super fun. Great mechanics of rotating the screen. I've seen other games that do rotation, but that was originally uh, made in not too long ago, 2017. I'm sure there's been other games that rotate the screen, but that's a, a great example. A of really fun puzzle game. Really fun puzzle game. Yeah. That's awesome. Um, so what's coming up? We're going to do an After Dark maybe on Thursday. Okay. Uh, we're going to be off on Friday, yes, so we won't be we'll here. Be traveling again. <laughs> yep. Um, then I have some things kind of building up. Let's see. Again, we're going to be playing Tanks 2022, mm -hmm. possibly next Tuesday. Uh, and, and 1942, since it's been vastly updated since we played mm -hmm. it last. And I'm going to throw in one or two more games. Um, tanks won't take long. 1942 won't take too long. So at least a third, maybe a fourth. Mm -hmm. We'll see. 
Um, then on the Friday, the 15th, we have the exclusive final version of Keystone Coppers, oh, which has okay. been renamed nice. from Keystone Capers. Nice. Um, and we also have an exclusive work in progress update on RT, which is Hero nice. Port, um, both from Money Funster. Um, he's added a ton of more levels okay. to Hero. I think up to level eight or nine, we will see. And that's pretty much my limit anyway on Hero. <laughs> maybe it'll be easier. I think it's a little bit easier on the 7800 version, I find. So maybe I'll be able to go right up to level nine. Oh, it's bath time for little it kittens. Is. Um, I added this in recently. We have a Uno slash plus cart special with a live interview with to be announced. Mm -hmm. I haven't announced it yet. There's, it's going to be a full show on the Uno slash plus cart and a bunch of software, mm -hmm. brand new programs slash games for it. Oh, okay. That'll be unbelievable. Okay, cool. It will destroy your minds and blow <laughs> your brains out. It's so, uh, it's really, really, really cool. Nice. I don't know when that will be. Um, pretty soon, actually, the people that I've been talking to about that mm. um, are like, yeah, we, we're pretty much ready. Yeah. So that's very cool. Mm -hmm. Um, we have some interviews coming up. I don't know when, uh, with old style, with the final version, the exclusive final version of Mario Brothers and some other games, uh, as developer spotlights on Chris Walton and Todd Fermansky in the future when they've got some games done, finish up some games. Doesn't take much to destroy my mind. It's pretty mushy, nostalgic yeah. says. You know. Mine's getting mushier by the day, too. Mushy. <laughs> Yeah. As long as I can still play video games, though, it's all good. That's as long as I'm in my chair when I'm 90. And I can <laughs> Someone's still... feeding you applesauce and you're playing your video, your Atari. Yeah, yeah playing yeah, my Atari. That's how I see it. <laughs> uh, we have some exclusive world premieres coming up. Elevator Agent, it's Elevator Action Port. Uh, exclusive world premiere of that. Um, Load Runner 2600 later mm. in the year. Champ Games Secret Homebrew later in the year. And PRGE, which is 100 days away, apparently. 100 days away. 100 day <laughs> countdown. Put nice. it on the screen. Yeah. We do have our, we have our hotel booked. We have our tickets bought. We have our tickets bought. I've got the list of people that are going. Excellent. That I know. Excellent. Are we going to have a meetup or something? We're going to meet up. We're Excellent. Gonna, we're going to do interviews there. Okay. Of some people. Okay. I've already got one interview lined up. I'm going to ask the other people. It's very far away. So okay. I'm yeah. not rushing it right no, now. No, no. But just, just percolating ideas so. and we'll have to figure out what like what we're gonna do there yeah other than interviews like yeah um, yeah the connection there is very bad like when we've got there were so many people in that convention when we center. bought wi-fi before which is expensive there it is you have to buy their wi-fi yeah because the the signal is terrible there because there's thousands of people all at once it's worth it if you're gonna do streaming but it's but still, still expensive. not very fast no because so many people are on it yeah yeah so We'd have to do a very <laughs> low bitrate stream, which, which which is fine. Yeah. You know, you set up a s solid camera. Yeah. And you just have it static. Yeah. Right. And just do like interviews, not, yeah. not gameplay or stuff like that. I mean, the other alternative is to record it and just upload it as soon as possible. Yeah. But which it's, it's fun if it's live, but it's yeah. much more fun live. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so we'll be, we'll figure something out. Mm. And we'll probably be hanging around the Atari Age booth, right? And drawing power from their plugs and uh, doing some sort of setup there, I'm sure. Mm. Play the Lynx games all yeah. day. The resolution yeah, is pretty go. low. Yeah. yeah, we'll broadcast at 30, 30, 2240p. That's what we'll do. 2240p. <laughs> all day long. Nice. 240i. How about that? 240i. Yeah. Wow. Interlaced. Yeah. Interlaced. That's what all this is. Uh. Yeah, true. Or that is 480p, true. 480p, 40i. What would we look like? Wi-Fi Monopoly. Yeah. Uh, pretty blocky. I've been watching this show for almost four years. Wow. Today, someone that looked like James walked by my car and thought to myself, was that James Earl Jones? <laughs> Never for one second made that connection all these years. Yeah, well, the James Earl. Yeah. Um, Not Jones, though. <laughs> I, my middle name was not named after James Earl Jones, even no. though it could have been. Yeah. It's it's a family name. Yeah. And the James is from a singer, James Winter. 
James Taylor. James Taylor. I thought you. Were, I thought Winter? your sister said James, it was James Taylor. Taylor. I think. I, yeah, I think. James Taylor. I found that that was news to me. Your sister mentioned that. I was like, <laughs> what? What? That's where James came from. Yeah. James so it's Taylor. not James Earl Jones. Yeah. <laughs> Even though it <laughs> seems very things. obvious. Yes. And it was definitely born after James Earl Jones was an actor. Was an actor. But, Kind not, of known, but not before Star Wars. So. Not before Star Wars, but he was in um, uh, how I learned Doctor Strange Love. Was he in Doctor Strange Love? And that was in the sixties. Was he? Yes. I don't even remember him in that. Or was he? Yeah, he was the pilot. <gasps> oh yes, yeah, he was. was. But you wouldn't have known. No one would have known his name from that movie. Probably not. I wouldn't think. Would he so. have done, did he do something after that that was a I bit more know. known? I don't think so. I mean, even in Star he Wars, the in, first one, yeah, was, it was just his voice. Was he? Would people really go, oh, that's James Earl Jones' yeah, voice yeah. in 1977? That's true. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. don't think so. Um, anyway. What else? I think that's it for mm. now. So just keep in mind, we're going to be off Friday. We're mm -hmm. maybe doing After Dark before Friday. That'd be nice. Or as soon as we come back, maybe on the Sunday... Yeah, Something we'll be like back. That. Yeah, not too late. So, so it's either going to be on um, the Thursday or yeah. the Sunday. Thank you, Rendered Ghost. Ghost. And thank you, everybody else, for watching yeah. out in YouTube land as well. Uh, Charles Whelan, Nostalgic 26, RC7E, Vitoko, Dan ABC, oh, Old so Style, Chalsa Donnie Mao. I know how to say your name now. Uh -huh. um, nostalgic, did I say that? Yeah. Ivory Tower. Oh, Ivory Tower Collections. Yeah. Uh, anybody else? Pull my bot. <laughs> no, they don't count. No, Not much. Splendid Nut. Uh, S. Ramirez. Carl G. Neo Media. Caffey Man. Caffey Man. Awesome. And Yay. Vitoko at the bottom there. Yes, Vitoko at yeah. the bottom. All right. So uh, that's it for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. Mm -hmm. um, it was a lot of fun playing those puzzle games. It was. Oh, this guy's it's so good. tired. His oh. belly is full of treats now. Now that he knows how to get them, we'll see if he'll if he takes up. If he the, remembers that, works on it. Yeah. Thinks about it. He's young. He's got a young brain. He'll pick yeah. it up quick. And we'll get both of these cats. Yeah. Um, working on that. Yeah. Ow! 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 You need your claws cut before we leave, so the cat sitter doesn't get mauled. Yeah. Oh, so sweet. Yep. Okay. Uh, so uh, we will see you soon. Yep. And uh, have fun playing all, all these amazing homebrews on your Atari. Yeah. Um, see you soon. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye. Have a good night.